been all images of desperate families making a long and dangerous walk to flee their countries have been all over the news and it's only intensified the political debate over border security well now atlanta has secured seven million dollars that the mayor will use to offset the financial impact of migrants trying to relocate here uh, fox size more stigs joins us now with the latest on the preparations morse well, governments apply for grants all the time. Sometimes it's a public safety grant or a housing grant. This one the city has received is for a special circumstance, the border overflows that can tax a city's resources, even big ones. The president and other leaders can issue warnings about crossing the U.S. border, but desperate migrants gamble. America is not open the people who are trying to come here illegally. A frustrated Texas leader complained loudly and the governor was among Southern officials who took the provocative step of busing migrants north. Why not, they told reporters, let big city mayors share the burden of hosting unpredictable numbers that make it to the U.S. alive. We started to see the flow come from Texas and other parts of the country. that the mayor will use to offset the financial impact of migrants trying to relocate here. Uh, Fox Size Morse Stiggs joins us now with the latest on the preparations. Morse? Well, governments apply for grants all the time. Sometimes it's a public safety grant or a housing grant. This one the city has received is for a special circumstance, the border overflows that can tax a city's resources, even big ones. The president and other leaders can issue warnings about crossing the U.S. border, but desperate migrants gamble. America is not open to people who are trying to come here illegally. A frustrated Texas leader complained loudly, and the governor was among Southern officials who took the provocative step of busing migrants north. Why not, they told reporters, let big city mayors share the burden of hosting unpredictable numbers that make it to the U.S. alive. We started to see the flow come from Texas and other parts of the country. We realized that there was a lack of coordination on the city level. The Atlanta mayor saw what was happening and in March directed aides to prepare. About 10,000 individuals may seek, you know, Georgia out as their uh, place of residence. And of course, if they're coming to Georgia, they're more than likely uh, going to be coming to the most urban areas. Atlanta applied for resettlement funds for shelter, food, and other related costs should some of the predicted numbers end up right here. The request was successful. Nearly $7 million has been awarded. Regardless of how you feel about the current state of immigration, uh, you know, you, we still have to be prepared so that we're not having uh, s some of the chaos like what, what we've seen in some of the other major cities around the country, like New York and Chicago. Now, Atlanta will select several service organizations that have the expertise to deal with the unsheltered population. They, are, will, be, they will be in line to get some of that $7 million to help the city deal with however many number of folks wind up here. From Northeast Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. Images of desperate families